could literally go um, to friggin oh what is it I don't know, the other one, the super cheap one that everybody always gets at this friggin' store. But I go to Alta and get it for like uh, a couple dollars. $72 for water and a little bit of hyaluronic acid. Uh, no. No, no. You people that pay those prices for that are nuts. That literally, it's water and hyaluronic acid. Like, why would you pay $72 for that? It's not even doing, it has no added, it's not doing anything. You can get hyaluronic acid serum much cheaper. That does much more. This is quite literally a ripoff. Kate Somerville. Kate Somerville. <laughs> Sorry, I got really excited about that. Kate Somerville, I do like $70, that I believe. At least if I'm paying $70 for something, at least it's decent. Now, I don't know about the Exfolicate Glow Moisturizer. This one I've never use this one. I usually use the goat milk one, which is really oh, see? It even has a nice smell to it. It smells very herbal. I will give it that. She's got really nice products, Kate Somerville does. And I love that she doesn't add a lot of fragrances to her. Like, well, it might have Maybe. I don't see, no, it has no perfume added to it. So what you're smelling is, there's rosewood, orange, bergamot, there is pumpkin. Some kind of fruit extract that they didn't put in, but you're smelling that bergamot and that orange and that rosewood, but it has a really nice squalling. I love that it's got water and then squalling right down here. It's like, it's squalling is one, two, three, four. It's the fifth one down on the list. So this was, so not only does it smell good, it has no added fragrance. So it's literally just the oils here. Just the, oh my gosh, that is so nice too. It's like. Wow, that just like absorbs right in. It's literally this nice gel cream formula. Not quite a cream, not quite a gel. It's like it's that hybrid in between. Oh, see, and it's got orange in it, which I love. So the orange is counteracting the bergamot a little, the bergamot and the rosewood a little bit. So I smell citrusy. Oh, that makes me want to just like use it in the morning, give you like a good pick me up. I actually like that. See, Kate Somerville has it. She's got it. Don't add all that crap to it. See, that's a win. Put you back in your stupid little thing over here. All right. Then I would actually pay the money for it. What else do I got? Let's see. 
Liquid Concealer, Jekka Black, or however you say this. I've never even heard of this brand. I'm going to go down here and, yes, because I needed more Dimethicone, dimethicone, God, how much, God, dimethicone vinyl, dimethicone cross polymer. How much dimethicone? Trimethicone, dimethicone. How, how many, $15 for this? Okay. So this is right along. This is full size, $15 for that. All right. What in the actual, oh my God. That just like squirted out all friggin' over the place. That's cute. That's super duper cute. I don't like that at all. Why does this look like a lip balm? What is that? That is like the messiest concealer ever. That is definitely not the right skin tone for me. <laughs> I mean, well, well, you can't really see it on camera. See, that's not, I don't like that. But that is, no, that is definitely, definitely not my skin tone. God, ew. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to clean that out. That's freaking, oh my God, it's all over the place. Okay. No, I can't do this. I need. No. no. Oh. Seriously. It is not my day. <laughs> At all. So, I went to open my wipes. <laughs> this is literally my whole. God, I can't. I just. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Why? My day was going so good, so good, and then, and then this. Jeez. All right, this hot mess of a container here. I mean, when I say it went everywhere when I opened it up, I mean, it went everywhere. I have to figure out how to clean it. of the lid that it's all over the top of. That just is, is not working. Okay. <laughs> much better. God, if a concealer makes this much of a mess, it is definitely not a product I want to be using.
product should not make this this kind of mess. It just should. That's too much. So that design of that top is a flop. It's a fail. Definitely a huge friggin' fail. Trey Loose Intense Liner Duo. Oh, it's two, two liners in one. Trey Loose. Uh, okay. So here. This is what I picked. Some of these I didn't really have. Twenty-four. Black and brown, really. I mean, are they even waterproof? Gel crown, intenso liner, but are they waterproof? Won't well, smear, smudge, or transfer for 13 hours, but it does not say waterproof. Thirteen hour wear, smudge resistant, transfer proof. But it's not waterproof. And here's one thing that I've learned. That it can say smudge proof, but if you have oily skin, nothing is smudge proof unless it's waterproof. So we're going to see if it's smudge proof. Nope. Yeah, it's not smudge proof. Just so y'all know not smudge proof it lied and black and brown god send me a different color i would love it if they sent me like red or green or something why does it always have to be black and brown guys get creative with your colors i'm trying to get away black and brown eyeliner because i don't need them i like colored eyeliner hence the green see the you saw my colored eyeliner you get it so that's kind of like now this this I cannot wait to try verb ghost prep weightless moisture heat protection frizz control now provided it doesn't have anything in it that I can't use what do we got Oh, soybean oil. Really? I don't understand why they want to put soybean oil in everything. By the way, soybean oil, not really good for you. They really shouldn't be putting it in your beauty products. Do some research. Soy is actually really, it's, and it's especially not good for women. Just so y'all know. Women should not be putting soy into their body. You know. 
which kills me because, you know, you're vegetarian. What is everything mostly when you're a vegetarian? It's soy. Um, soy is not good for a woman. It's not good for your body. It's not good for your joints, actually. It's very bad for your joints. It causes inflammation in your joints. And it's not good for a woman to have that in her beauty products. So, $18. Made with 100% vegan ingredients. Made without harmful ingredients. Yeah, like phthalates and sulfates. Mm, yeah, why don't you go do some research on soy. And then tell me how how good it is for you. Some people don't do their research. They would love you to believe that everything in your beauty products is good for you, but that's not true. It's insane. That is not what I was trying to do, but thanks. Did it go? Aha. Uh -huh. Ah. Hmm. Now, soy, it turns out, contains estrogen-like compounds called isoflavones, flavones, whatever they're called, and some findings suggest that these compounds could promote the growth of some cancer cells, impair female fertility, and mess with thyroid function. That's just some of the things that soy does. Sorry, I was looking that up. Soy is healthy. Soy is dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. Soybeans and most soy foods like tofu, tempeh, and soy milk are high in protein and isoflavones and low in saturated fat. Soy has played a role as a dietary staple in Asian days back many centuries. Mm. What does soy do to a woman's body? there's hormonal effects this stuff is bad for you people do your research so you know what I'm actually very glad that I'm allergic to soy I don't have to worry about this but I do have to very much read my beauty product list so yeah ladies mm, just so you know soy not good for you so all you little vegans and vegetarians or whatever if you're doing soy you really shouldn't it's bad it's very bad for you do your research y'all wonder why i say this stuff is bad for you you know you're like oh you don't know what you're talking about well the internet says i do know what i'm talking about and i so wanted to use this which really sucks yeah see it's got moringa and babasol and everything oh that sucks but it's got soy in it and i am not using it nope y'all crazies can use that shit if you want to have all these harmful side effects <laughs> no not me hard pass all right on to my last one derma e man so not winning 
they might be vegan. Mm, well, when they don't tell you it is franken soy, which is mostly what is used and everything is horrible. And yes, it's franken soy because, you know, it's not even real soy. It's all the crap they genetically modify, like most of our food. Okay, where is, did I pass it up? Wait, Derma E, Advanced Peptides and Collagen Serum. Um, one, two, three. Hold the phone. Let me see if you're confused. Verb. Okay. Oh. Did I read? I think that might be something I redeemed points for. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm gonna have to go in here and look at my point log and see. If that's what that is. Received points, received points. Uh. Okay. Uh, I don't see anything for that. So why do I have Derma E in there? I received points. Okay, come on. Nope, I re- Okay, okay, my Derma E, I did- that was my bad. I don't even remember doing points for this. I remember the Ultra Repair Cream, but I don't remember doing this. Uh -huh. Um, let's see. Matricaria. Vitamin C. Plant-derived collagen. Vitamin E. Witch Hazel. Green tea. Glycerin. Triglyceride. These are plant derived. Now this, if anybody hasn't used Derma E before. So this is 100% vegan, GMO free. So it's not genetically modified. The stuff that they use in here is not genetically modified. So it's more than likely you won't see soybeans in here.